Hi and welcome to this short battle ass training video. My name is Dan and I'll be explaining the concept of risk based thinking. So in terms of management systems, a lot of people like to have something that is fixed. They love procedures because it's consistent and everyone can do the same thing and nobody has to really think about anything. But in reality, business is constantly changing and in a lot of cases, there isn't just a one solution that fits all. So what the latest ISO standards are beginning to say now is that it's not just about performance, specification and everything being fixed. In fact, it's about everything being different for every job. Different people have different expectations, so you can't expect to do the same thing every time. So with risk-based thinking, you have to consider things such as, what are the risks working with clients or supplier? Is it a new industry? Are they a new client or supplier? Do you know them? Do they know you? Have you anticipated their needs and expectations? Have we got the skill and capability to do the work? It's the same thing with ISO auditing. A lot of people are used to having a set program of audits. You put your month, January to December, across the top. You put your areas down the side. Then you just draw a diagonal line across 1 to 12, then 13 to 24 for the next year. But the ISO standard states the internal audits should be based on the importance of the process and the results from previous audits. So in other words, it's based on the risk. If you have one area or process that's not that important to the business, you might think this area has a lower risk factor and audit it less. But if you have an area that is client facing and very important, or has had many previous issues, I guess you may want to audit it more often. In other words, you consider the risk rather than just saying, all these areas are the same, they all have the same issues and all have the same problems. It is not a one solution fits all anymore. It's a difficult concept for a lot of people, but risk is everywhere. And it could be argued that most of the things that you do in your daily work life and even home life are based on a risk calculation. Risk based thinking has always been in the background in ISO standards, but now they have specifically made it a requirement. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Please check out our website where you will find more videos and how to guides.